Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be using this example to learn how to create a 3D model and a 2D drawing in SOLIDWORKS. So download this drawing and use this drawing to create the 3D model. Then once you are done creating the 3D model, create the 2D drawing. And if you get stuck, you can come back to watch this video to see how I create it. And another thing I'll mention is this part is also in millimeters. So change your units to millimeters before you start creating this part. So to create this part, start a new part file and click OK. Then under options, select options, come to document properties, select units. I'm going to select millimeter and click OK. Then we are going to select the top plane because we want to draw that base. Select the top plane. Now come to the sketch tab. Now start a new sketch. You can use the corner rectangle or the center rectangle. I'm going to use the center rectangle. And I'll start at the origin point, draw something like this. Then I'll add my dimension. The dimension here is 40. And the dimension for this line is 150. I have a fully defined sketch. I'm going to exit. Now I come to the feature tab. I can move this something like this. I'll select extrude boss and we are extruding it up and the distance is going to be 10 and type 10 in here and click OK. So that's how we create the first base. For the second feature, select this face. So it is the back face. If I go, if I go to this isometric view, it is this back face. Select this back face. Come to the sketch tab. Start a new sketch. Normal 2. So this time let's draw a corner rectangle. I select the corner rectangle. Click anywhere here. And drag up something like that and click again. Until you have something like this. Then we can add that dimension from this line to that line. It is going to be 65. We are going to select this line and click for construction to make it a construction line. Then let's draw a circle. Select the circle. Hover over this line until you see that orange dot and that's the center point of that line. Start your circle on that point. You can just drag it something like this. Select your circle and select this line. Add a tangent relation and select this circle and this line and also add a tangent relation, something like that. Then we are going to trim this lower part out. Then once you have something like this, let's add a dimension for our circle. And the radius is going to be 20. Then let's add a dimension from this line to the center of that circle. It is going to be 50. We have a fully defined sketch. Exit your sketch, come to the feature tab, and I can move it something like this. Click extrude. We are going to reverse the direction to be going in the other direction. And the distance is going to be 10 as well. And click OK. We have those two feature. Next, we can cut the slot under. So let's select this back face again. We'll come to the sketch tab, start a new sketch. Normal 2. Then let's draw corner rectangle again. So something like this. This line, select this line and this edge. And they are going to be collinear. We are going to select this edge and this line as well. And they are going to be collinear. Then once you have those two, let's add our dimension. From the bottom line to the top line, the dimension is going to be 3. We have a fully defined sketch. Let's exit. Come to the feature tab. Select extrude cut. Now move it. And we can select this drop down and it is going to be up to next. And click OK. Or you can either select up to next or we can select true all. And click OK. Next, let's use the old wizard to add a hole. Select this drop down. 
select the whole wizard. Then in here, we are going to select the counter ball, this one. Then come to the position tab. First, select this face. And second, click anywhere to add that point. Then once you've add that point, press escape. So select that point and you can select this circular edge over here. Hold it down the control key, select both and add a concentric relation. And what that does is it put the center point of that circle to the center of that arc. And you can click OK here. And now you can come back to the type tab and in here, we are going to change our dimensions down here. Then come under whole specifications, select this drop down and select the M8, for example. And I'm going to click the show custom sizing. And these are the dimensions we want. So for this example, make sure you are in metric, X bolt, the M8. And under show custom sizing, make sure you have this number and click OK. And that is how you create that hole. Next, we are going to select the whole wizard again. Select the whole wizard. And let's select this hole. It is the third one. Then come to the position tab. I'm going to select this face. And you can go normal too. And we'll put a point here. And we'll put another point there. So I'm just clicking to put those two points. Once you've put those two points, press escape. Then you can add your relation, this point and this point, select both point, add the horizontal relation. Then we can also add some dimension. This point to that edge is 20. And from this edge to that point is also 20. And in here, we'll select from this edge to that point, it is going to be 20. Then our sketch is fully defined. Come back to the type tab. Under the standard for the type, click on this drop down and select drill size. Then under the size, click on the drop down and you can scroll down until you see seven. Now select seven. And it is going to give you this preview and it is going to be true or and click OK. And that is how you create that hole. The last thing we have to do for this part is to create our fillet. Select fillet. Change the fillet size to three. Then we can add our fillet by selecting these edges. I'm going to select this edge. Let me zoom in. Select all this edge. So select all the edge to add your fillet, then click OK. So I believe we've added the fillet to all the edge. Then the next one we are going to add a fillet to is this bottom part. Select fillet, change your dimension to six, and select this edge, and select this edge, and click OK. And we are done creating this part. To save it, click Save. And I'm going to save it on my desktop as part one. Next, we are going to create the drawing for this part. To create the drawing for this part, click new. Select drawing and click OK. Because I have that part open, it is showing in here. But if you don't have it open, you can click browse. Then go to the location where you saved it. Select the part and click open. But since I have it in here, to select it, double click it, and it is going to open this dialog box. If you don't see the preview, click this preview to see it. Then we are going to come down here, select hidden line visible. Then we are going to place this part up here. But another thing I should change is select the top view because we want to place the top view. So up here, select the top view and place it here. Then once you place the top view, you can drag down to place this view. Then 
I'm going to select this checkbox. For now, it is showing the hidden line and it is also showing the extra line for our fillet. To get rid of the extra line for your fillet, right click on that view, come to tangent edges and select tangent edges remove. And it is only going to show you the hidden lines. Let's do the same thing for this view. Right click, come to tangent edges, tangent edges removed. So now we are cleaning everything up and everything looks good. So the next thing we can do is, um, just select OK here, come to the view layout, select projected view, and we want to project this view in this direction. Then we can either an asymmetric view like this and click OK. Select the isometric view and you can move it somewhere here. And you can select that view again and click in here and click shade with edges. And it is going to give you that. So that's the first step is just placing our views. And you should have something like this. So next we can start adding our dimensions. Come to annotations. Select smart dimension. Now select this edge and the center of that circle and add my dimension. Okay, so the template I'm using is an inch. To change it to millimeter, I'm going to click on the options again. Document properties, units. I'm going to change the template to millimeter and click OK. So it is going to change that to 20. And I'm just going to select my smart dimension again. I'm going to add this dimension. So from here on now, we are just adding these dimensions to make it look like what we see in the drawing. Next, we can add the dimension over here. Going to select Smart Dimension here. Select from that edge to that line 20 and click. And you can drag this around. It is going to align it for you, something like that. In case if you feel like your view is not big enough, you can select it. And in here, we are using the Shade Scale. You can click on this drop down to select custom scale. And in here we can say two to three. It's going to make it a little bit bigger. I think that looks better and I'll click OK. And I can move this around somewhere like that. Then let's add another dimension. Click the smart dimension. This line to this line is 40. This line to that line is 150. And down here, the radius is 20. And from this line to that line is 65. From this line to this line is 3. So all I'm just doing is clicking those two lines and adding my dimensions. Then while I'm still in the dimension, from this line to that line, is 50. So I'll add it somewhere over there. From this line to this line, it's going to be 10. Here we can click the radius and it's going to give us the radius of 3 over there. And up here, we can add a dimension from this line to that line. It is 10. We can drag this anywhere you want. Then the extra dimension they add is from this line to that line, it is 85. And that is how you add all the dimensions. For the whole wizard, there's a special dimension you use for that. So you see this whole call out, select that. Because we use the whole wizard to create our circle, you can click it and it is automatically going to add that dimension for you. And it looks like that, so I can drag this around just to fit everything in. Move this over here. So you have to do a lot of moving around. And the template that I'm using is a little bit small, but for the, for time's sake, let's just do it like this. So that is how you had the whole dimension. And we can do the same thing for this hole. Select the whole call out. Select that circle, it's going to give you that dimension and click here. 
And this is how you add all the dimensions. So if you want to enter your name in this title block, all you have to do is right click on this template, click edit sheet format. It's going to bring you in here. And in here is where you enter the information. And once you are done entering all the information, you can exit out again by clicking this. And when you are done, click save. Browse to where you want to save it. You can change the name and click save. And this is how you create a 3D model and 2D drawing in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.